scientists just invented something to reach the stars. Will we visit Alpha Centauri? The universe is almost infinite, and due to its vast expanse, there's no way to transport humans across its infinite breadth. A conventional spacecraft would only get us near Alpha Centauri, which is the nearest planetary system. This system is situated some 4.37 light years away from us. But the real question is, will we be able to reach it anytime soon? Stay tuned to find out. I request you to subscribe to the channel since it helps in growing the channel. Thanks. So by using the same traditional technology, it would take almost 6,000 years to reach Alpha Centauri. This necessitates the development of a newer mechanism for interstellar travel so that we can explore the vast expanse of space and planets it has. NASA has some huge plans for traversing those distances. But the problem does not go away with just raw imagination. The distances are so huge that conventional units are useless in describing those distances effectively. In fact, astronomers had to come up with a new unit, a light year, which is the total distance traveled by light in a year. To meet this challenge head on, we will have to come up with a new propulsion technology. Only with a new propulsion technology can mankind embark on interstellar missions. One plan revolves around launching a robotic spacecraft to Alpha Centaur. The Alpha Centauri system has kindled the interest of scientists because they have discovered an Earth-like planet in the system. Scientists think that this planet may harbor conditions suitable for life. The planet, which has been called Proxima b, lies in the habitable region of Proxima Centauri. The distance from the star is ideal for containing liquid water. Throughout the star system, the probability of finding Earth-like planets is quite high. One issue remains. The planets are exposed to intense bouts of ultraviolet rays and X-ray radiation. This means that all life emerging from that place was bound to be resistant to radiation. Astronomers are quite optimistic about this star system potentially having extraterrestrial life. The problem is, getting to that place would require a spaceship that can at least travel at 10% of the speed of light. Coming up with that kind of speed is a very tall order. Even with those speeds, it would take almost 44 years for this spacecraft to reach Alpha Centauri. NASA is looking at laser-powered probes, which have the potential to travel up to a quarter of the speed of light. This speed is simply unattainable with conventional rockets. However, a newer Starshot initiative aims to propel the spacecraft to ultra-fast light-driven speeds. Not only that, it has the potential to reach Alpha Centauri in a short time period of 20 years. The concept was first brought to public attention by Yuri Milner, a Russian high-tech billionaire. He aims to invest $100 million for a proof of concept of this ultra-high-speed spacecraft. This essentially means that the speed would be near the speed of light, and although the speed sounds achievable on paper, it is a completely different thing to achieve in reality. The probe, which can accomplish this difficult objective, is extremely thin, and is about 3 meters in width. The whole thing is 1,000 times thinner than a sheet of paper. The probe would be constructed of aluminum sheets which are extremely thin. Such a probe could potentially travel to 25% of the speed of light. Earlier models of this probe were based on solar energy to accelerate. However, a newer model would be based on the use of ground-based lasers to accelerate the speed by a factor of a million times. The sail, which is a primary part of the probe, should be able to withstand the pull of hyperacceleration, which could be 100 times stronger than the gravity on Earth. The problem with this kind of sail is that, if it is that tightly wound, it would most likely rupture under the weight of gravity. The idea is simple, but the mathematics of how the materials would be able to tolerate this kind of pull are extremely difficult. In the same way, how air keeps the beach ball in its shape, laser photons will keep the sail inflated. To keep the sails from rupturing, pressurized containers would be used, which would be in the form of cylinders or spherical bodies. The next problem is releasing heat produced from the lasers. One solution is nanoscale patterning, or what has been called laser nanolithography. Nanolithography refers to making extremely small patterns and falls within the field of nanotechnology. The sails will be heated up to a higher temperature. Most of these lasers will be reflected from the sails because heat transfer needs to be made possible in space. But why can't we just use conventional rockets? All conventional spacecraft and rockets are extremely slow as compared to this cutting-edge technology. Voyager 1 and 2 would take thousands of years to arrive at Alpha Centauri. The New Horizons probe, in contrast, would take somewhere around 78,000 years to reach the Alpha Centauri system. But what if we could use a warp drive, like the one shown in countless sci-fi movies? Although there has been little development in this regard, there have been some developments in NASA, which has made warp drive with speeds faster than light possible. A space-time distortion, caused by the incredible speed, greater than that of light, could actually be used to transport material. 
but this is still a theory and is years, if not decades away, from fully becoming a capable technology. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like the video.